Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing NCIS Sydney, the SEAL Team movie that is coming to Paramount. It seems like the TV show won't be slowing down anytime soon. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can see related content when it's posted. What is NCIS? NCIS is an American police procedural television series revolving around a fictional team of special agents from the Naval Crime Investigative Service combining elements of the military drama and police procedural genres. The concept and characters were initially introduced in two episodes of the CBS series Jack, Season 8, Episodes 20 and 21, Ice Queen, and Meltdown. The show, first airing as a spin-off on September 23, 2003 on CBS, has known a wild success and entered into the 19th full season and has even gone into broadcast syndication on the USA Network. Donald P. Belisario and Don McGill are the co-creators and executive producers of the premier member of the NCIS franchise. As of 2021, it is the second longest-running scripted non- animated U.S. primetime TV series currently airing, surpassed only by Law & Order Special Victims Unit 1999 through the present, and is the seventh longest running scripted U.S. primetime TV series overall. The SEAL team will be deployed for action. With the exciting news of getting a newer addition to this franchise, it came as a big surprise that CBS will also be giving more attention to another one of its police drama works, SEAL Team. It was announced at the same time as NCIS on Tuesday at the Viacom CBS Investor Day event by George Cheeks. President and CEO of CBS and Chief Content Officer for News and Sports at Paramount. For the hit Paramount Plus drama SEAL Team, the standalone movie will come from the series' creative team of star and executive producer David Boreanaz, also an NCIS star, executive producer Christopher Chulak, and showrunner Spencer Hudnut. As curious as we are to hear more about the show or find out anything, there aren't any other pieces of information out there about the storyline or even the cast, so we should probably wait and be patient. But no storyline details or confirmed cast were announced, after being recently renewed for a sixth season. This followed a finale that offered up an odd amount of closure, only to then blow up Bravo Team's collective world. And as much as the NCIS franchise is going to expand with the new release, we would also like to see this beloved TV show get some more attention as much as the other. These two projects represent two new ways we are expanding our studio footprint while supporting the company's mission to drive streaming, Cheek said in a statement. We have the producing roster, production infrastructure, and deep library to be creative and nimble with with franchisees and other IP for both domestic and international audiences. David Boreanaz has given a promising update on the future of the SEAL team after Sunday night's earth-shattering finale. The latest episode of the popular military drama felt like it could be the finale of the whole series. That is until the devastating final moments saw the team attacked in Mali. Now fans aren't completely sure who lives and dies, and they've been left on the tenterhooks until Paramount Plus gives the all-clear to a new season. Chatting to TV Line about the future of the series, Jason star David David admitted he's still not sure if this is the end of Bravo Team. In 2014, NCIS has been on the air longer than its predecessor, JAG. Mark Harmon has starred in every NCIS season, playing the former Marine and now Special Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs. NCIS Los Angeles is also a popular series in the franchise and features an all-star cast, including Chris O'Donnell and LL Cool J. In total, there are nine series in the NCIS universe, some of which are reboots of popular serial cop dramas from the 80s. The family tree of NCIS can't stop growing its branches, with Hawaii Five-0 having a crossover with NCIS LA and linking the other series to the Lenkoff verse. Many episodes in the NCIS franchise feature real-life stories straight out of newspaper headlines. Next, Paramount Plus and CBS Studios are growing two of their key franchises. CBS CEO George Cheeks used the company's Paramount Plus investor presentation Tuesday to announce a local Australian take on mega franchise NCIS and a movie incarnation of CBS's recently renewed drama, SEAL Team, as it looks to expand its IP for a global and streaming audience. Being a long-running franchise, NCIS sure does have a lot of content to impress us fans, and the newest addition to its collection will also be getting an international edition. The series will be available domestically and on Paramount Plus in Australia in 2023. The show will feature local stories, be composed of local actors and producers, and be filmed in Sydney. Additional details were not immediately available. Sources note that NCIS Sydney was specifically developed for Paramount Plus Australia, with the potential to play on other Paramount Plus platforms around the world. Additionally, former CBS drama turned Paramount Plus original, SEAL Team, is getting a standalone movie that is being made exclusively for the streamer's domestic service. Star and executive producer David Boreanaz will reteam with the executive producers Christopher Chulak and Spencer Hudnut for the movie, which is slated to expand the storytelling universe of the military drama, which was recently renewed for its sixth season after airing its first four on the linear network. Next, the 
expansion for both CBS Studios produced franchises comes as procedurals like NCIS and SEAL Team represent a key area of focus for the streaming service. Streaming execs also have plans to revisit Criminal Minds with a number of original stars, as IP remains a backbone of platforms from fellow media conglomerates Warner Media, Disney, and NBC Universal. For its part, Paramount Plus recently renewed updated takes of the game and iCarly, as IP from other Viacom CBS brands like Nickelodeon continues to populate the service with movies based on SpongeBob SquarePants, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Smurfs, among others, set for the streamer. NCIS Sydney marks the first localized original incarnation of the global franchise after domestic series NCIS, itself a spin-off of JAG, NCIS Los Angeles, NCIS New Orleans, and the recently launched NCIS Hawaii. Paramount Plus, like other streamers, has been ramping up global originals as it looks to expand the new markets in a bid to compete with Netflix on an international scale. NCIS Sydney, which is slated for 2023, will feature local stories with Aussie actors and producers and be filmed in one of the world's most scenic harbor cities. NCIS Los Angeles creator and Australian Shane Brennan is attached, but no cast has yet to be announced. NCIS Sydney will air domestically and on Paramount Plus Australia and Network 10, as will a new SEAL Team movie, which stars David Boreanaz. These two projects represent two new ways we are expanding our studio footprint while supporting the company's mission to drive streaming, said George Cheeks, president and CEO of CBS and chief content officer for news and sports at Paramount+. Plus. We have the producing roster, production infrastructure, and deep library to be creative and nimble with franchisees and other IP for both domestic and international audiences. At present, none of the three shows in the franchise that are still airing on CBS, NCIS, NCIS Los Angeles, and NCIS Hawaii have been picked up for the 2022-2023 CBS schedule. While NCIS has been hard hit cast-wise with the departure of Mark Harmon as special agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs last October and the departure at the end of season 18 of Emily Wickersham, special agent Eleanor Bishop, the show has continued to be strong in the ratings with Gary Cole stepping in to lead the team as special agent Alden Parker. NCIS airs Monday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern, followed by NCIS Hawaii at 10 p.m. NCIS Los Angeles airs Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern on CBS. Now, let's talk about some of the cast exits over the year. Unfortunately, some characters don't get to stay forever. There have been plenty of cast exits over the years. The first main character to leave NCIS was Alexander. Her character's ending came as quite a shock after she was shot in the head. One moment, Caitlin is having a conversation, and the next, she's down on the floor after getting hit by a bullet. The toughest exit was the departure of Harmon as Gibbs. Many fans thought the character would be on the show till the bitter end, but it didn't work out that way. After a lengthy suspension, Gibbs decided to retreat to Alaska and leave his job behind. He had a tough life and a career that began to wear on him, so it was time for him to finally slow down and enjoy life. Another exit fans were sad to see was the departure of Weatherly. He played Tony Dinazzo from 2003 until 2016. He went on to be the star in Bull for six seasons. Some are hoping Weatherly will return to NCIS now that Bull is ending. That's all we have for today's video. Make sure to comment below and let us know what you thought and what your favorite NCIS series was. Make sure to check out the SEAL team when it comes to Paramount+. Plus. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.